Thank you for joining me. Today we're working on the first chakra, our root, our connection to our physical body, our connection to earth. This is the area where all is one. This is where we find our stability, our love of our life and our love of our body, regardless of our body shape or size. We only have one. We're meant to be in love with all of the beauty and all of the abilities, whatever those abilities are. This is also our support system, our sense of belonging, our sense of beliefs. Who supports you? Who do you let support you? And when we don't have enough support, perhaps it's time to be open to more. And we get to ask the universe, our guides, our helpers, our friends, join a church. There's things we can do, a book club. There are always ways to find more support. Part of it is our duty our ability, our actions, and part of it is believing, asking the universe for that assistance. And we also have that higher self connection, always. That's part of our support. So today we're going to look at our first chakra. So take some breaths, feel the breath through the nose, down the throat, Allowing the belly to rise and fall. Rolling the shoulders up to the ears with your inhale, dropping them down and back with the exhale. So your shoulders and your chest feel open. Allowing that oxygen in to clear your mind and fill your being. Gently push your feet into the earth, whether you're sitting or standing is okay. Flex the toes, flex the calves and the thighs. Do a few kegels, get yourself down into this first chakra, which is your root system. It's where we feel our sense of anything is possible, survival. We know we will always be okay. We know we can change our external circumstances with beliefs and actions. So really feel the legs and the feet. Feel your glutes and your sits bones on the chair if you're sitting. Do those kegels. Flex your glutes. Flex your thighs, your hamstrings, your calves. Move your ankles, stretch your toes. And again, push them into the earth. Notice the physical body. Just notice. This area is a gorgeous red, beautiful red. And perhaps you can see it when you're down in your first chakra with your mind's eye. You can feel the fire, the heat, the richness of like rich, juicy soil. Or maybe your feet are rooted in the sand. Imagine yourself in a beautiful spot on earth. Continuing to focus on the inhales and the exhales. And if your mind wanders, it's okay. Tell your thoughts, you will catch up with them later. But for now, you're just gonna give this juicy greatness, this attention, this mindfulness to your body to create more stability, more belief in self.
this area is really reliant on yes, yourself and your connection to your own abilities. And it's also how well you're supported or allow yourself to be supported by others. So with your eyes closed, again, focusing on taking the breath all the way through the body, can inhale down the spine, bring it down the spine and feel it, see it, know it's there. All the way to the tailbone, and then bringing the mindfulness down the legs into the feet and the toes, into the arches, into the heels. And then exhale up and out. Inhale down the spine, visualizing, feeling every vertebrae. You might feel you want to adjust your posture, that's okay. Movement is great. Really let yourself feel all that the air, that oxygen provides for us on earth. We need it. And now imagine yourself standing in the center of a circle. Just imagine it. Use that beautiful imagination that we all have whenever we want it. You know, oftentimes we imagine worry. We don't need to do that. We can imagine goodness too. So go down into those feet and legs and imagine you're standing in the center of a circle. Know it's there, feel it. You're inside and there's a bigger circle around you. I want you to notice how many spokes are on the wheel between you and that outside circle. And each spoke, let them just come, knowing that each spoke represents your support system. Friends, family, certain family members, maybe adult children, maybe organizations like work people or church, or any other organizations you belong to, minister, pastor, old friends, new friends, neighbors. Who is in your support system? Who's the team? Notice the spokes. Ideally, we'd like at least five to seven. And we can always get more. One won't hold it up, will it? But multiple will for different reasons. We might get support emotionally from this person and the neighbor might help us when we're gone. That's all part of our support system. So breathing in, noticing the spokes, no judgment, just noticing. And if you don't have enough, that's okay. This is a great time to ask the universe. I'm ready for more support. I'm open to receiving. Allow us to connect. And then we use those support and we help them as well in different ways, different people. So is there an energetic exchange? The shadow side of this first chakra could be victim. We feel disempowered. We feel like we don't have enough. We're not sure how we're going to survive. We're not sure how to handle the crisis. However, when we allow ourselves to get the breath here, do some power poses, stand in the center of our circle and go back to remembering who our spokes are. And when we can't see them, we ask the universe to show us. Those pieces Bring us back to all that is possible and that we can and we are surviving. And then we can take it a step further and thrive. We have the earth to support us. We have our higher power to support us. And we have these people that are here to support us.
the strength here is that we can do, we can move forward. We use the support network to help us move forward when we feel stuck, when we feel overwhelmed. So spending time in this first chakra, the beautiful rich red, tailbone to the bottoms of the feet, the sits bones to the bottom of the feet. Inhale and exhale until you feel more alive in this lower body. Get that energy flowing, it is possible. So you can stay here, you can pause, or you can pause the audio, or you can join me as we exit. Again, feel the breath down the throat, the rise and fall of the chest and the back and the belly. Feel the oxygen through the nostrils, down the throat, into the spine, into the back, lower back, lower belly, all the way down to the feet. Feeling alive, feeling connected, feeling your power, feeling all possibility. Thank your support team. And possibly you could pull this video up or do it on your own and thank your support team every single day, every day. Thank them in your mind, thank them in your notes, thank them verbally. Gratitude is a wonderful way to strengthen this first chakra. Take some breaths and stay or start your day a different action now. Have a lovely day and thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time.